Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see we are in a different setting. We are in my very empty kitchen because I did not decorate my kitchen since I have moved. I know, I know. Pity on me. But I'm so excited for today's video because everywhere you go on YouTube, no matter what video you watch mostly, you'll see a sponsor for HelloFresh. I'm sorry if you hear click clacking in the back, that's my dog. But you see HelloFresh. So I was like, I've always wanted to try HelloFresh but never actually got it. So I'm like, I'm gonna give HelloFresh a try today and see how it actually is. Yeah. So this is the HelloFresh box that I got. It's covering up my address. Um, I was so happy once I got it. I'm like, oh my God, I can't wait to try it. So what comes in your box whenever you get it, I hope y'all can see. I'm gonna take everything out though. It comes with your recipe card that you get i ordered three of the recipes for two people and i did get their calorie smart um box because i am trying trying to be on a diet so i tried to get the healthy stuff that they had so my first one that i got from them is their lemon dill lobster ravioli and shrimp i'm gonna open up the bags and everything to see what's in each bag then i got their balsamic tomato parmesan riscato riscato i'm so sorry if i'm saying it wrong but this is it and then i also got their balsamic vit balsamic fig chicken i don't know why i couldn't say that um i guess all in the bags and they all are separated and it also did come with this um flavored water a cranberry lime they had like a little pathan on the inside of the box like a little promotion thing so this was in the box also they got i have it in cranberry lime I might not drink it because I don't like bubbly drinks, so. Um. Oh, a little thing. Oh, trash, I guess. There is this big block of ice to keep your stuff cold. Cause I just got back from work and my stuff has been sitting out for about I say about three and a half hours. And everything is still cold and frozen like everything is still frozen so this is the boneless chicken breast this is the lobster ravioli and this is the shrimp for the ravioli also so i did get one veggie dish and two regular dishes. Um, I accidentally got the the vegetarian dish. I didn't know I picked that one up, but I have it. And then at the bottom, just another block of ice, which it says, which it says recycle. So I'll we'll be recycling the ice. And that is it for the box. All right. So if I am correct, with the concept of HelloFresh, they basically give you everything that you need you don't have to buy all your ingredients are in all together like no way you have to buy your seasonings you have to buy your like onions and stuff it should be all in there again this is my first time ever trying hello fresh so i'm like very excited just to give it a try so on today i want to make one of them just to see how it is and what it's like and which one do i want to try And also, it tells you how long it takes to make everything also. That I like that. So, I think I am going to do the lemon and dill 
lobster ravioli and shrimp because that's the shortest one that they have and i just want to keep it a quick video not an extra long video just of me cooking because who wants to see somebody cook but so we're gonna do the lobster and shrimp so for the dish we're gonna be making it comes with the shrimp the lobster ravioli it comes with fresh it comes with fresh form dill it comes with a zucchini it comes with sour cream which I might not use because I hate how sour cream tastes but I'm gonna just follow the recipe if it says goes if it says sour cream I'm gonna add it so we'll see about how that goes then it has your veggie stock I actually like this like everything is just pre-measured for you in little bags and then the last thing that they have is the lemon look how cute and tiny though and that is everything out of the bag right, so the first step is to bring a large pot of water of salted water to a simmer which I do have going in the back then it says to wash and dry all the produce which I did do already then it says to I don't have a zester it says to zest the lemon and cut into wedges well we don't have a zester here so we are going to just cut them into wedges then it says to pick and roughly chop pounds of dill discard the stems rinse and pack trip dry season all over with salt and pepper so apparently does it it doesn't come with the seasoning i'm guessing i guess because they you should have salt and pepper at home i'm guessing so that's what i'm gonna do i will go and prep everything and show you guys once i am done all right guys so this is my dill and lemon again i don't have a zester so i can't zest the lemon up so sorry about that hello fresh i can't do that you should have sent me a zester in and i could have been zesting up my lemon like it's supposed to be so for the shrimp again i am from louisiana i like my food spicy and actually seasoned not just black pepper and salt so i actually seasoned my shrimp with some tony sachets and some cayenne pepper and black pepper too because I like my food actually seasoned and to have a taste. Not saying this won't have a taste, but I like my food a little spicy. So, we seasoned it a little extra. I know we stepped out the box for this, but I got to make it how I like it. So, next it says to marinate the zucchini. So, trim ends of zucchini using a peeler. Save zucchini. Shave. Shave zucchini lengthwise into ribbons, rotating as you go until you get the CD core. <sighs> this is a lot. This is supposed to be this is supposed to be 25 minutes. I don't know how long I've been going yet. But so I have to put the lemon juice from one lemon wedge, two for four servings, so I need one lemon wedge. I need to do one lemon wedge with olive oil, salt, and pepper. I don't have... Actually, I do have olive oil, I think. So now I'm going to get a bowl to zest... I mean, to peel this zucchini and to make ribbons from a zucchini. So let me go put this right quick. All right, so I have the zucchini prepped. I have it marinating in the lemon juice the olive oil the black pepper and the salt to the side and let that finish marinate while i go to the next step all right so the next step is to cook the shrimp it says to heat a drizzle of olive oil in a large preferably non-stick pan over medium high heat add shrimp and cook for three to four minutes so we will do that all right guys so i have to go change my shirt first because i spilled oil on it but back to the video so I have the oil ready and hot, which I think I might have it too hot because I left. Turn this low real quick. I'm going to put this down to medium because I forgot about it when I went to change my shirt. So 
We're gonna start cooking the shrimp. Hopefully I do not burn this because I forgot about it, but. So the next thing is while the shrimp cooks to add the ravioli to the water for three to four minutes. So it'll be finished about the same time. Right. So we have the ravioli in the water and I have the shrimp cooking. And again, shrimp is one of those things that cook pretty fast. So I'm gonna let this cook for three to four minutes and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so we have the ravioli done. It says to turn off heat, leave ravioli in water. So we're gonna do that. And now it's time to so finish the pasta. So now we are going to stir in. So now we're gonna stir in the stock that they gave us. Wrong thing. All right. And to the stock, it says to add one third cup for four servings. So this makes two servings. Um, I guess I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm actually going to use the pasta water because pasta water is good to cook with for your food I've heard from Gordon Ramsay so we're going to do that. Fourth cup of pasta water which I'm adding to the shrimp and stirring that in. It says bring to a simmer over medium heat so I'm going to let this all sit together until the pan gets back hot and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, guys, so we have the shrimp to a simmer. And the next thing it says to take a spoon like this and scoop the ravioli into the pot that we have the ravioli in. It says for us to reduce the heat to low, which I did. It says to add the sour cream. And it says to also add a tablespoon of butter, which let me go grab some butter. Thankfully, I have some. All right, so I added the butter. It says to use half of the dill. I feel so fancy. Half of the dill and to squeeze one wedge of lemon. All the ingredients that they said to put in there, it says to also season with salt and pepper. If the mixer seems dry, add a splash of more water. So we're gonna add some more seasoning. We're gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I'm not gonna add any more salt because I don't want any more salt in it, but I am gonna add a little bit more of my tonis. Just a poo. So now I'm going to stir everything together. So I have everything in the pot. It's not dry, so that is good. It says now to divide ravioli mixture between shallow bowls. So the zucchini goes last. Okay. Hello Fresh, if I ever become YouTube famous and you decide you want to sponsor me, I'm sorry I'm not sticking to your recipe, but I'm going to add the zucchini now and let it cook down a little bit with the pasta. So I'm going to add in some of the zucchini into the pasta and let that cook down together. I'm going to also go a video topic again and I am going to let this simmer for about another three to four minutes to get all the flavor together. It doesn't call for that, but I'm going to do it anyway. This is how it's supposed to look. Mine doesn't look quite like that, but it still looks good. I'm gonna go in and give it a taste. Sue, so, wanna try the shrimp first. It, the shrimp is actually good. 
again i think it's good because i add my cayenne pepper so that's that made it better so next i'm going to try the ravioli with some zucchini i'll add a shrimp on there too Mmm. That one is really good. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I was expecting it to be nasty. Because, again, I like my food. How I like my food. Again, being from Louisiana, we cook differently than people up there. So, I was expecting not to like it. But I actually like this recipe. It's very, very good. It's very flavorful. The only thing I don't like is that the dill is caught in my teeth i've never eaten dill before and like it's everywhere in my mouth but that is the meal i am all complete i'm so happy with it i might actually try hello fresh again because i had i got the first subscription from um hulu and i had a discount code for it i only paid like 25 dollars for all that i'm like i want to give it a try just to see but I might actually keep the box because I actually like how it came out. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing me struggle to cook. I know I look a mess. I just got off of work and I wanted to hurry and shoot this video because I'm like, I can't let this food go bad. So I know I look a mess. I have no makeup on, no nothing. My hair is just a mess. I have my night clothes on, but I wanted to shoot and see actually tried but i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you join me again next week for my next video and i hope you guys like it and comment and subscribe to my channel bye guys